Hi brothers and sisters. I know in my last video I said I wasn't going to upload another video until after Passover, but I forgot to say a few things and I also want to share my testimony. On the day that I uploaded my last video, I was having a really bad day because the night before I tried calling my dad, but he didn't answer his phone and uh, I went over to his house and I caught him smoking crack and we got into a big argument and I just felt depressed and angry after. And um, also I, I really felt like the enemy was trying to prevent me from making that last video. And I felt rushed and and pressured to do it. And uh, I uh, as soon as I uploaded the video, I just felt a ton of weight lifted off my shoulders. And I, I regret saying in my last video that I didn't like making videos because the truth is is that I love encouraging you all and I love all your comments and you, you guys bring me so much joy and I, I really appreciate it, thank you so much and I love and appreciate you all. And the other reason why I prefer not comment, I prefer commenting instead of making videos is because I, I make a lot of mistakes and I forget easily because I've had over 25 concussions from mountain biking and dirt bike racing and my brain isn't as sharp as it used to be. In my last video, uh, I didn't notice until after that I said, and uh, like over 20 times. <laughs> and uh, I didn't realize that until after because I get really nervous when I make videos. So I'll try not to uh, say, say that too much from now on. <laughs> and um, so now I'll share my testimony. My name is Brendan. I'm 32 years old, turning 33 in May. I was born and raised here in Vancouver, Canada. Um, I had a very good childhood and my dad was always done, uh, did well financially. And he bought me dirt bikes since I was three years old. And ever since I learned how to ride dirt bikes, I've been addicted to it. Um, I, was a, I was a late bloomer and I didn't hit puberty until I was 17 or 18. So for the first few years of high school, I was bullied and made fun of a lot. When I was 18, I bought a truck and I started dirt bike racing or motocross racing. And uh, I was hooked. And in 2011 and 2012, uh, I won one BC championship and two national Canadian championships in the 450cc novice class. And my original YouTube channel name was Moto X Addict because that's what I thought I was. <laughs> and uh, I still watch motocross every week um, on TV. And a few years later, I had my near death experience when I went off a mountain bike jump and I landed face first. And I felt zero pain and I felt my soul leaving my body. And I went to the other side where I just saw light and um, I felt God, Jesus, uh, unconditional love, and it felt like pure love and bliss and peace. And I became depressed after because I just wanted to go back there so bad. A few months later after that, I got baptized and became a born again Christian. And soon after that, I, I learned about the rapture or Jesus returning. And uh, that's all I could think about. And uh, in 2017, when the Great American Eclipse and the Revelation 12 sign happened, I warned my family and my girlfriend, and um, I quit my job, and my, I was getting my dad to support me. And my girlfriend, who I was in love with, broke up with me, and my family didn't really want to talk to me. And my dad sold my dirt bike, and I became depressed and I tried to commit suicide on March 1st, 2019, when uh, the rapture didn't happen and I thought that there would be a few more years for until it happened. And uh, when I tried to hang myself, I passed out and I woke up uh, like an hour later and um, I just felt so happy and grateful to be alive and I haven't had any, I've had zero thoughts of harming myself since then. And I was in the mental hospital for three months and they prescribed me with antipsychotic medication that, um, and they forced me to take it. 
and uh, it just mellowed me out and caused me to gain weight. And I plan on starting to taper off the medication next year, if we're still here. Um, because I was gaining weight and because my dad smoked crack around me my, my whole life, um, I stopped caring about my health and I started abusing drugs. I never tried cocaine or crack or meth because I knew that if I tried it, I would have been like, my life would have been over because I knew in my, it's my, in my DNA to be addicted to it. Um, so um, my drug of choice was MDMA or ecstasy and um, I would use every other day and for months and I eventually overdosed and I swore I would never do MDMA ever again. And after that, I had really bad cravings and I tried opiate pills from my dealer. And that was a nightmare from the moment I, I realized I was physically addicted to them. And uh, after a few months, I went into acute withdrawal uh, because I mixed the pills and my dealer never warned me about that. And it felt like a really bad overdose. Um, so I went to the hospital and uh, they prescribed me with uh, anti-opiate uh, blockers. And uh, when I was on that, I, uh, I had really bad nightmares almost every night where I would be tortured and I, I actually felt the pain. And um, I then tapered off of the opiate pills in January 2022 and I went through uh, withdrawal. And I swore to myself and God, Jesus, that I would never do drugs ever again. And I just wanna say that no one should ever do drugs. Um, I regret doing it. And I believe that the enemy has control over you when you're under the influence. That is what I experienced. I became a more angry and irritated person and I didn't feel God, Jesus' presence in my life. The Bible also says that we are called to be sober when we watch. And I have repented to God Jesus for my sins and I continue to. And now that I'm hope, now that I'm sober, I am way happier and uh, I feel God Jesus presence in my life. And, and now my life is going great. Like I've restored my relationships with my family and friends and I have a great job that I love delivering new mattresses with my truck. And I also just moved into a new laneway house in the west side of Vancouver. And it's, uh, it's less than a block away from a 2000 acre forest with trails and, excuse me, and now I'm starting to go for walks and runs and enjoying being out in nature. And I encourage you all to go, go out into nature when you can and just appreciate God, Jesus, uh, beautiful creation. There is so much to appreciate and enjoy on earth, even though it is not nearly as beautiful as heaven from what I've heard from near death experiencers. And even though there isn't much time left, we, we should all try and be joyful and make the most of everything God Jesus has blessed us with. And I'm going to try and be more joyful in, in my next videos if we're still here. And I promise to you and God Jesus that I'm going to continue to make videos and encourage you until we're, we're all in heaven. And I feel like that is my purpose here on earth. And... I'm so excited to be with all of you in heaven soon. Hopefully the rapture of Jesus will return in a few days on March 15th to 16th or during Passover at the latest. Thanks, for, thanks so much for listening. I love you all. God bless.